Welcome back to your Feel Good Record Show. This is Expresso. You're live at S3. I hope you had a great day, Daddy. Uh, just <laughs> yesterday. I'm sure it was fantastic. I'm sure you're feeling the warmth and the love. But you know what? Once they were only seen as breadwinners, you know, once upon a time, maybe disciplinarians in some households. Today, fathers no longer want to be limited by these roles. They want to be true co-parents, providing nurture and care to their children as well. It's not an easy job, uh -huh. definitely, but based on the smiles on our panel's faces, it sure seems like a very, very rewarding one yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, certainly after Father's Day, I think all feeling that off to go. We love it. Today, we discuss fatherhood in the modern era. What it means, how to navigate the ups and downs, and more importantly, how it changes us, because there really is a before and an after. And our panel consists of some daddy bloggers, Terry Williams, as well as Cheslin Peterson and his partner, Zahir Slarmi. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Thank you so much yeah, for joining us. Thank, Thank you for having us. Five kids. Ah. Five? <laughs> yes. I, you, you were just telling us the ages, and I thought you were dialing a, an emergency code. <laughs> just tell us the ages again. So, uh, 13, 11, 9, and then I got... Uh, Twins, uh, seven and seven. Wow. So, oh, you know, my wife and I tried for four, which was crazy, and then we got a bonus. And then you went all in. You were like, yeah. nah, <laughs> I'm there. All to the middle so, of the table. Sure. Yeah. Um, of course, that in itself is a conversation <laughs> yeah. starter, but we encourage you guys at home to join in on the discussion and share your thoughts, your insights, and your experiences with us. Drop us a voice note, please, on our WhatsApp line, 063-408-8863. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. No um, yeah. Such a pleasure to have you here, and happy Father's thank Day. You. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's very awesome. Awesome. <laughs> a Beautiful day. Yes. It was a, a lovely one. But of course, there are some nuances that we have to discuss, and I, I need to start with you. Um, first and foremost, are you okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> secondly, you know... I, when last did you sleep? Yes. <laughs> He's been awake since last night. Uh, but it's, it's important for us to just navigate the space of here because, I mean, you've got quite a few kids. Yeah. And naturally, you have to be something to all of them. Yeah. Even though you're overarching your blanket statement is that I'm, you know, your dad. But now to have these relationships with each one of these kids yeah. and, and look and also their different ages, you have to treat them in certain sort of ways in terms of their maturity levels and how you raise them. How are you navigating that space, you know, with all of these kids, different ages, and still managing to be a, a somebody to each one of them? Mm. Just made me nervous now. Yeah. yeah. Are you? Sure. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah, I felt a bit nervous with these questions. I was actually wanted to take notes. Because, <laughs> no, come on. Because often when you're a parent, you can't tell the forest yeah. from the trees. Yeah, <laughs> you're so in the yeah. thick of it. Yes. Uh, my wife actually just went away for three weeks before she'd only been away for three days. She just turned 40, and this was her way of doing something in the middle of her life. Great. She came back with Jedi wisdom, like with clarity about <laughs> oh. her life. I think parents actually do need those times when you get away and just think about yeah. what you're doing. Because yeah. in the daily grind, you know, it's, you, you, you feel a bit overwhelmed. Most parents feel like they're not doing such a great job, <laughs> and you actually need people yeah. around them to say, no, you're doing great, you're doing yeah. great. Um, but when I think about what I find so rewarding yes. about uh, parenting my kids, it's the sense of love that I feel for them. You know, what's the child? The child is somebody walking around, another body walking around with your heart in them. Yeah. And Father's Day, like, all my kids together, all in one place. Like, you can't <laughs> get happier than that. Yeah. And then that feeling of purpose. Uh, you know, Julie and I felt like we had purpose in our lives. But once we came home from the hospital with our first child, Eli, it's like this laser sharp focus, like, this child, look after it, get it ready, <laughs> become a good person who can make a good difference in the world. That keeps you focused yeah. for like 20 so years. Yeah. And then the feeling of just being their hero. Uh, you know, my kids now starting to watch Marvel superheroes, uh, but they look at me like I'm their hero in the world. I'm the real hero. And that, nice. like, it calls out the best in you. Wow. It really does. Yeah. And it becomes like a, a bubble that you can keep going back into no matter how tough everything else is in yeah. the world. Mm. And it, uh, for me, it's that line in the sand. I yeah. think ultimately there is, yeah. there is a line you won't cross. Cheslin's are here, you guys have a, a, a different journey to get to this point that I would imagine has its own challenges in itself. Ayan is your beautiful child's name. Please yeah. tell us how you guys got to this point of adopting and what that journey was like and how it feels now to be a dad. Okay. Um, so first things first, um, I think myself, both myself and Cheslin, we were, you know, we love children. We work with kids every single day. It's our career. Um, and when we got married way back in 2015, yeah. um, we both agreed, hey, you know what? We would really love to have a child. Um, this was something we discussed all the time and uh, we then Googled and we came across an organization and we approached them and they said, hey, come for orientation. We sat down and we had this beautiful orientation speaking about 
being a parent, etc., etc., and the process of adoption, etc. Uh, you know, we went back home, etc., and we went to a party, I think, weeks after that, and Cheslin received a call from a friend, a volleyball friend, an old volleyball friend, who attended school with him. Yeah. And uh, she had said to, to Cheslin, Cheslin, I'm seven months pregnant. Um, unfortunately, I don't have you know, the funds and things and to look after the child or the means to look after the child. Um, I would really love it if you and Zahir could take my child for adoption and, wow. oh, you wow. know, <laughs> all almighty heard our prayers and yeah. um, we definitely, but you know, I was skeptical at the beginning. So we said, Let, let's hook up with the mom and uh, discuss, you know, what's it all about, why, what's the reasons, et cetera, et cetera. And thereafter, the same organization, we went, we went way back in the beginning of that, of that year of 2015, they assisted us and made it possible, and we walked the journey. We uh, even went for the, the scan to check uh, how far she was, etc. And myself and Cheslin were in the room when she gave birth. Cheslin held her hand while I was slipping down the vocal cords. So we... So it's burnt we, into your mind correct. forever, and you've got off got free base. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct, correct. So I think we were super, super blessed to have that whole experience yeah, of being in the sure, del man. delivery room, and being there when Ayan came. And then obviously, Ayan was put into a safe house for 60 days. And I think by the 16th of December, Ayan came home to us and that's Oh, you must been. have been yes. itching. Wow. Oh, oh my wow. word, you must have been. Especially the that 60 days were the worst days of my life because yeah, yeah. I was like, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? And then we <laughs> went away. We actually went away on holiday because I couldn't bear Had to, yeah. Thinking about it, and eventually, yeah, with the <coughs> that sixty-first day was <gasps> the best of your life. Was the no. correct? Correct. It was fantastic. Seriously, there's clear pride in your voices, every yeah. one of your voices. Yeah. And this is why we're going to unpack this a little bit more. In yeah. fact, if you want to join in the conversation, please feel free. There's a WhatsApp line just for you. Give us a voice note. <coughs> give us a question. Give us why you're so proud to be a dad. If you want to, zero six three four zero eight double eight six three, and we'll continue our panel discussion in the next couple of minutes on your feel good breakfast show. Especially Stormers dads. It's my feel good. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us as we continue our discussion about fatherhood. Yes, happy Father's Day. Once again, belated to all of our dads out there and father figures. Now, featuring in our panel this morning are dads. Uh, we've got bloggers, Taryn Williams, as well as Cheslin uh, Peterson and his partner, Zahir Slami. And earlier, we uh, explored the importance of a father figure, and we delve a little deeper into that discussion now by focusing on the changing dynamics of fathers in the home. It's a different world right now, and we encourage you at home to join in on the discussion and share your thoughts and experiences. Those are insights, please, with us. Drop a voice note on our WhatsApp line 063-408-8863. All right, so let's get started. Panel, thank you so much for being here, first Thanks, and foremost. Now, Cheslin, I'm going to start here because okay. I know for a fact, we all know that the father, the idea of a father in the past 50 years has, has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. Fathers have changed themselves. You know, the way uh, we conduct ourselves with our kids as well, you know, it's a new world. But you obviously have had a lot of pushback with regard to, to your family that you've developed and you've grown. And this beautiful family, of course, the last thing you want is anybody questioning why the family feels different or whatever that may be. Do you think it's the blog and the way that you've kind of navigated the situation and sharing your experiences has helped you navigate the entire idea of the modern family and being a father changing? Um, first things first, um, um, I think um, when I started the blog, it was because I wanted to create, uh, um, create awareness, yes. especially amongst um, the gay um, communities. Yeah. And I wanted people to know that this is possible. I remember when I was still, when I was younger, I, I always thought to myself, because of my natural um, inclination, I would not be able to have it's kids. Be, yes. but, uh, yeah. but when I, as the time went, I have realized that oh, my dad has blessed me with a child. Yeah. And I want to tell people out there that it is possible. And also for the, for the broader um, community, um, it's also to let them know we're coming from all the struggle and we're coming from time where, where we fought for freedom, etc., democracy, etc. And, and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and I think it's time that people explore mm -hmm. um, um, the lived experience of the life of two Cape Town dads yes. and try to understand our dynamics and that um, the child child is, as long as the child is happy, that is on the end of the day more, more important. But I was quite surprised when, um, so as, as I made the blog and I, and I realized that people are more flexible in their thinking yeah. and people are more accommodating in the sense of that they are not worried about the sexuality, but they're more worried about the child being happy. Yeah. Mm. And is the house conducive? Mm. Is there love and care and nurture in the... And that is actually was a surprise for me. But nevertheless, um, pushbacks in life. Yeah. You know, um, I've learned that people have their opinions. 
right? Mm. And people, and it's okay because they speak from the soundboard. Mm. And we have learned to accept that. And it's okay because everyone is entitled to his or her opinion. But we have a choice and we can decide, do we want to entertain this or do we want to pay attention mm. to, this, to the discrimination or the opinions, etc. Because we know what we are all about. We know our dynamics mm. and we understand that Ayan is our, our priority and his well-being is our first primary concern. And I want to, to, to add quickly um, with the blog is that um, we, um, our blog is more than just same-sex marriage who hasn't adopted a yes, child. Yes. It became much more than that. It's a parent we, blog for mm, one exactly, and, and we are talking about social economic issues, you know, and our, it allows our, f our followers to join us on that platform, mm. and it also have a bit of humor, light-hearted conversations <laughs> with Jasmina, our friend, yeah. and and she is 63 years of age, and she brings her perspective of in of her generation mm. onto yeah. this onto this um, platform. Yeah. So the platform. <laughs> It's very diverse, but yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it to the two of you to think about who's the better parent, because we need to <laughs> yeah. you, my relationship <laughs> by... Yeah, I mean, I'm just kidding. Um, I absolutely love that, because you're teaching your boy every yeah. day a lesson in dealing with the situation yes. more than anything else, more than what you say, what you do yes. are the lessons they learned. Yes. Let's talk about mental health for a second, because yeah. this is something that you've spoken quite, quite openly about. How much has the pandemic affected us? Because I get a sense that we've all been rocked. We've all had our foundations shooken, shaken. Um, <laughs> and I think we're all reading and dads are, are struggling to figure out, well, can I be vulnerable and weak mm. and still be the dad? How, how do we reconcile mental health issues and where we sit with the pandemic right now being a dad? Yeah. Good question to ask today. Today <laughs> is International Father's Mental Health Day oh, around wow. the world. So you can oh, time, yes. time wow. that question But this is actually why we had the discussion. <laughs> we knew it. Yeah. Ah. Um, it's been waiting a whole year to have this discussion. <laughs> yeah. So let's, let's make it count. Yeah, so, um, so there's something about masculinity that men often think, you know, a real man does life alone. You know, a mm. strong guy, yeah. sorts out his yeah. problems, he makes a way for his family. And um, the pandemic, you know, made life uh, more difficult. Uh, yeah. So one, isolating men even more. So, uh, you know, a, a much healthier way of being a man is reaching out for help. Yeah. <laughs> no man who succeeds gets there without reaching out for help, especially when it comes to relationships that succeed. So what the pandemic did is it isolated um, uh, men more. It gave them more difficult kids to parent because the kids are going through uh, difficulties of yes. being isolated themselves over the time. And then you've got the financial and the, the employment instability. So a lot more stress, more isolation. And then you understand why the stats have said that there's more anxiety, more depression in more men, and also tragically a higher suicide rate. Mm. So this is a serious thing. I've actually written a, a post on it recently on my blog, The Dad Dude. Yeah. And uh, you know, men, we need to talk. And I'm busy uh, writing about that. And um, the good thing that came out of the pandemic is that men have become better co-parents and they're spending more time with their kids. So there's a flip side positive too. Yeah, man, it was one of the greatest gifts wow. I could have been given from a yeah. dad's perspective. Yeah. Seven months alone with my child. Yeah. Wow. What, what price would you put on that now <laughs> to get yeah. that back again yeah, yeah. is a weird question to, yeah. to ask yourself. <laughs> uh, spot on, gents. Thank you so much. We're going to continue the discussion. We are talking about the role that a father plays in today's society. What does that father figure look like in your world? We'd love to get your take and your advice this morning, please. We're just a bunch of dads trying to make our way through the world. <laughs> exactly. We need your help. 063-408-8863. Drop us a line. It's my feel good. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso. You're live at S3, and we're back to our discussion about fatherhood, one of the most beautiful virtues in life. Now, featuring our panel of dashing dads, bloggers Terrence Williams, as well as Chesan Peterson and his partner Zayi Slami, and they're standing by with some amazing advice. In fact, dad advice to make sure that you are <laughs> confirmed and ready. Before we get there, I think it's important for us to. Uh, we've been encouraging you to to, to message in and. We want to hear your voices with regard to this, so let's go. Okay. Yeah, man, we've got a couple of people weighing in. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's start with Nolobu, who had this to say on our WhatsApp line. Let's take a listen. The important role of being a father figure is make sure that you are there for the person when they need you. Give advice as where is needed and provide for the person. 
You are the provider. We had another one coming yep. in from Alvira. Let's hear what she had to say. Good morning, Espresso. So basically, uh, I would think that a father is a all-in-one. Mm -hmm. They're there when you need advice on life or even finance. <laughs> he's the person who makes sure that the ship is run smoothly while he's queen and his kids are always taken care of. <laughs> Have a great morning, guys. I love that. We, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that right now. <laughs> Leona also um, dropped us a voice note on our line. Let's hear what she had to say. Fathers are the glue that keeps families together. The real-life superhero of every child should be their father. There is no greater love. I miss my dad. Oh. 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 In the feels. Big time. See here. Um, <clears throat> You've faced a very different set of challenges, I'm sure, establishing what that role is of a father. When we talk about that mother energy, the, the role of a mother, how have you guys wrapped your head around bringing that feminine energy into the space? And how, do you, how important is that, do you feel? Because this is something that I would imagine you've had to wrap your head around. How have you, as a gay couple, approached that? I think in the beginning, <clears throat> apologies, uh, in the beginning, myself and Jason, we are very concerned about, you know, can we replace or take the place of a mother? Um, and we were obviously stressed about that. But as time went on, we realized it's something that's, it's, to be a parent, it's not about being a mother nor a father, it's about being a parent, someone who can love, nurture, and to be there. Um, it was crazy to navigate between, you know, um, being, um, a male and try to replace that, but you can't replace that, in my opinion. Um, getting up in the middle of the night and um, being there for Ayan when he needed, um, you know, to to help, etc. So it was difficult, but as we went on, it became natural to both of us to do that. Um, we helped each other through our journey. We were there for each other most of the time, you know, when we needed assistance. And it, to be honest, it wasn't easy, but we got there. Um, I think we were each other's strength through through the trials. And I used to obviously feel um, overwhelmed at times. You know, being a, a parent is not easy for anyone. Mm -hmm. And Chislin was there as a guide as well. You know, what I, you got this and you know what it is to be a parent. And so it became natural. Natural. And so my, my thoughts on this is that, you know, parenting has no gender. It's about love, care, and about just being there for your child at the end of the day. So, yeah. Well said. That's Don't exactly what it should be. Yeah. Uh, if there are any sort of young dads, uh, potential fathers out there, Terran, I want to go to the, the dad dude himself here. <laughs> uh, how, how would you sort of equip them for what is to be expected? How do you get them excited about this role yeah. as a father? What would you say to them? So, in terms of what's expected, you've got to love your kids, yeah. you've got to lead your kids. Mm. Easier said than done. Mm. Those are the two things you've mm. got to do. Yeah. Love them every day. See if you can show them the love, tell them you love them. Kids need it like flowers need sunshine. Mm. And then lead them. No. Mm. Tell them what's true, how to live, mm. how to treat people. Show them with your example. And in the beginning, you have 100% control on this life, but as they get older, you give them more space. So, Taryn, just to, so just to cut you off there, uh, apologies, I know that you're, um, you have a mic difficulty, but uh, basically, Taryn, what Taryn echoed is the fact that, you know, there's, there's a lot of excitement around you imparting a lot of that shine of, of, of just that awareness of, of that kid knowing that you're there for them. I think that's so powerful too. And I love what you said about, you know, they, they need that type of affirmation and presence. Like flowers need sunshine. I think that's so powerful. Mm. Yep, you just gotta be a Swiss army knife. You just gotta be there <laughs> and be yes. ready to do it all. Um, Jens, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I, I was brought up by a woman and she played the father role incredibly well. Oh. The father role yeah. doesn't have to be a traditional pillar. It has to be something that you show up for every day, regardless of the guys. Um, and I'm going to say to all the new fathers out there embarking on this journey, as intimidating and terrifying as it can be, Correct. it is literally going to be the best element of your life. Yeah. Amen. I can promise you that. And once again, I say happy Father's Day. Yeah. Not yesterday, but today and every day, because you have to be a father yeah. every single day. And we appreciate you. And we love the fact that so many people embrace this opportunity to shine a light on what it is to be a dad. So thank you so much to all of you at home, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy every day, guys. Uh, Guys, yes, yes. Every day that you get. Thank you.